all. I hope you're having a great summer. I can't believe I haven't seen you in so long. I miss all your faces and your funny stories. I don't know what I'm doing without you. I hope you're having so much fun with your families and spending time and doing lots of great things. And I hope we get to get together soon and I can hear all the stories about what you've been up to. In the meantime, I have sent you all an activity bag. Um, so everybody's bag itself is different. So my bag is a Christmas bag, but everything inside the bag, we all have the same stuff. Um, but we're gonna get it to what's in there in a few minutes. First, I wanna tell you about why I sent you what I sent you. So does everybody have books at home? I have lots of books, so many books, I don't know what to do with them. But does everybody have a Bible? Not everybody has a Bible at home. That's okay, but we have lots of Bibles at the church. You're always welcome to borrow one or call me. I'll drop some off. Um, so this is one of my favorite Bibles, just because it's fun. There's lots of real cool things in there. But did you know each Bible is actually made of a whole bunch of different books? So this one big book has a bunch of small books inside of it. So your activity bag today is talking about the very first book of the Bible, the very first chapter of the Bible and the very first line in the Bible. And what does that say? It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Have you ever seen sign language before? I really like sign language. I don't know a lot of it, but you know, when I, when I can, I try and learn a little bit. It's a great way to include everybody. Um, as if you can't hear what I'm saying, you can see what I'm signing. So let's learn this together. So in the beginning, so it's kind of like your hands in an oval shape. In the beginning, God, straight line down, so straight down is God, created, so it's like you're, you're twisting something with your wrist, your hands, the heavens, you're going up on stairs and down. And so you're gonna grab and pull and the earth. It's like a little wobbly person on your hand. So let's try that together. In the beginning, God created, oh, you know what, it's okay. Sometimes we're gonna take a minute. I guess I, I missed a spot. Let's go again. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So that's Genesis chapter one, line one. So what does this mean for activity box? So the first six days of creation, God created the heavens, the earth, the light, the stars, the water, land, plants, seeds, fruit with seeds. He created the sun, the moon, the stars, birds, animals in the water, animals out of the water, and humans. And what do you think God did on the seventh day? He rested. God rested. Can you imagine how tired you would be after creating all of this that we see when we look out the window? So many amazing things. I'd be pretty tired too. So our activity box, we're going to create our own art and our own pieces and our own little worlds. Um, but we'll be making and creating. What's the difference between making something and creating something. So making something means you have all the ingredients, you just gotta put it together and bam, there it is. Creating means you're grabbing stuff from everywhere. It's not all together and you're getting making something new. We're gonna be doing a little bit of both. I've given you all the ingredients, but at the end, what I wanna see, what I'd love to see, send me your pictures, is what you've created with those ingredients. Um, now, there are actual crafts, so we'd love to see you do the crafts, but make them your own. Um, so I'll tell you more about what the crafts are and what's in the box in just a minute, but first I think we should pray. All right, I know you all agree with me. It's time to pray. All right, dear God, for every creature, every plant, every rock, and grain of sand proclaims the glory of you, our creator. We worship through color, shapes, and smells. We use all our senses and in a song of praise for you, creator God, 
May we spend time with you as we make and create all of our creations. We do this as a way of celebrating our love for you and your love for us. Amen. Okay, let's get into what is in our activity bags. I know you're all waiting to know. So, what do I got here? Let's start with this great big thing hanging out the side. Everybody is going to have a box. It's a random box. And inside your box, I have taped in some marbles. So this is going to be marble painting. You also have the paper. There's a stack of paper for everybody. Um, and then you have the paint to do the painting with it. Where is the paint? We need the paint. Here is our paint. So everybody has a stack of paint. Now, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles and friends and not friends, painting should probably be done outside. It all says washable, but it's not always washable. So make sure you're wearing something you're not super concerned of. And guys, don't paint yourself. Please just paint the paper. <laughs> I know, that's what our teenagers do, but you guys are more responsible, I'm aware. Um, but do the painting outside. So that way, if you do have an accident, it's not as big of a deal as if you got paint on the carpet. So, um, you'll see the paper, you'll use the paper for a few other things as well, but marble painting is actually one of my favorite things to do. What else do we have in here? So, everybody has a package that'll look something like this, and we're going to make sock bugs. So inside this package, you have googly eyes, her googly, whoever's googly eyes are over here, and string, and you have some filler for the sock, but you're also going to need to collect some items out of nature. So some pieces of, I don't know, a flower, or sticks, or leaves, or whatever your heart desires to really decorate your sock box, and I'd love to see what they all look like when you're done. What else do we have in here? Let's see. All right. Tissue paper. So we're going to do some tissue paper painting. So what we're doing with the tissue paper is we're actually taking the color off the tissue paper and putting it on regular paper. So you'll use that paper I gave you. Um, but I'll explain that a little bit more in the video for tissue paper painting. What else do we have in here? All right, so one of the important things of creation is taking care of each other. And sometimes that means taking care of those next to us. Sometimes that means animals. So we're going to make bird feeders. So inside here, you'll have the bird seed. You'll have everything to put it together and hang it up outside. Make sure you hang it up somewhere that's not going to get wet. Otherwise, it's just going to fall apart. But... If you have a nut allergy or you have nut allergies in your house, you will have a different craft. Um, because I didn't realize that when I bought the bird seed, there's nuts in the bird seed. I've never eaten bird seed, so I didn't know that. So my apologies. Um, so if you have a nut allergy, you have a totally awesome but different craft. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Da 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 da! beads what's a craft bag without beads because every once in a while it rains so we can't always be outside we can't always be painting but you'll still need to go outside because you're going to need a stick and we're going to make um either a wind chime or a sun catcher whatever you prefer they're kind of both the same thing they catch the light they're beautiful to look at and when they knock each other they make a pretty little sound so you have all the ingredients you need to make that, except you'll have to get a nice dirty stick to hang it off of. Because what's creation and talking about creation without actually going out into the world that God has created for us and collect some of these amazing things that we see every day that we don't think much of. Um, we're going to collect some of these things and we're going to decorate them. So we're going to make sun catcher. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, and moms and dads, I gave everybody some plates so they'll be able to collect. <laughs> they won't lose all their beads and everything 
all over your house. Um, put that over there. Okay. So everybody has balloons. Um, so with the balloons, we're going to do splat painting. And I'll explain that later. It's not as messy as it sounds, but when you're done, it makes beautiful flowers, like the beautiful flowers we're going to see when you go for walks. What else do we have? So everybody's going to have clay. Um, everybody has a different color of clay. But what we're going to do with the clay, again, we're going to collect some pieces from outside and God's creations. Maybe some really pretty leaves you like, or if you're anything like my daughter, sticks. She loves sticks. And then we're going to do imprint paint, imprint painting. So first we're going to flatten it, then we're going to press it, then we're going to let it dry, then we're going to paint it. Okay. So you also have the cup for water for when you're painting. Um, and all your paint brushes, you'll be able to rinse your paint brushes as you go. Everything's been cleaned as it's been put in your bags and set up ready to go, okay? So if you have any questions or you're missing anything or you've run out of something, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles and everyone should know how to get a hold of me. If you don't, just call the church. I'm extension 207, I think. Pretty sure. Um, and then I'll get you whatever you need. Another thing you'll all find, the last thing you'll all, well, second last thing you'll all find is two empty cups. You're going to have um, food coloring and some white paper, and we're going to make a rainbow, a traveling rainbow together. And then you're going to have two pieces of paper for some scavenger hunts. One scavenger hunt looking for smells and touches and real cool things um, more using your senses out in God's world and the other one looking for colors in God's world but the directions you'll see the directions in the video so that is everything in this bag right now um, they're not boxes because I ran out of room your bags are all pretty full I hope you guys have lots of fun now I'll make videos to show you what you're going to do um, with each craft and how to do each craft. And then when you're done, I would love to see pictures of them. Please send me pictures. And hopefully I'll get to talk to you soon. Bye.